This moving box is going to become a solar window heater. My window, sorry I'm leaning on the couch, the camera's on, my window is 21 inches high. Roughly 20, 21 inches high. And I need an air gap below the box and above the box for air to flow, convection heat. Now I've measured the box this way is perfectly the right size to fit in my window and leave a little bit of light on either side for me to look out or my cat to look out. Now up and down it seems like, let me see, 20 inches. Well I could pretty much cut off this lip here and that would allow air to flow. So I'm going to cut off the box right here on this edge. Now to make this easier, because I have to separate this box anyway, peel it open. Now, I need to lay this out. What I have here is simple common aluminum foil, plain clear tape. Now what I'm going to do is simply tape the aluminum foil to the box. Well, because my work surface doesn't allow it and it's too windy outside, I'm going to do this in shorter strips. Simply tape the foil on. This does not have to be precise by any means. Tape the foil on to your cardboard. Now I've got one strip done. My workspace is small, so I have to fold the box, but that's fine. It allows me to fold it in the future as well for storage. Now I'm going to tape the second strip down. You can overlap a little. It makes it easier to work with this stuff. Now I have one side done. Now I'm going to turn this over and do the other side as well. The reason being, one side will be painted black and will collect heat as the sun shines on it and heat up the inside of my camper. The other side, the other side will be coated with bare foil and reflect heat back into the camper. And I'm going to overlap on the edges a little bit over here. The inside is going to have more wear and tear so I want it to be more I want it to be tougher. Tape very well at the corners. Spray adhesive would be very good for this as well. It would actually be much better to work with if you have some. Now if you can afford to tape of tape along every seam and every edge 
because aluminum foil will snag on anything it catches and will rip and you want to prevent that this is dollar store aluminum foil dollar store tape and one 69 cent moving box a very affordable passive solar heater now my foil is taped down on both sides the whole sheet of cardboard is double sided coated with foil and now the next step is complicated because it's windy out I'm going to spray paint one side of this alright I'm in the bed of my truck it's very windy I happen to have some high heat black paint laying around I'm not going to show this much because I do not want to get paint on my camera but basically I'm just going to paint this well I've got it painted black I couldn't get a perfect job done because my can was really defective and it actually took me a good 30-40 minutes to paint this little piece of metal so anyway and I'm out in the middle of the forest so I can't just run a town this is it what I've got is what I've got so I'll let this dry and then I'll put it in a window now I have this just sitting in a window this is my short window I have two windows so this will be moved from the long window down there in the morning to the short window here by night or in the afternoon I should say and it folds up then in this case now I have to make the stands for it so it'll stand up now my situation is a bit awkward because I have this tall thing the curtain would hang up inside here and the problem is this would catch the heat and stop the airflow for me so I have to pull this away from the window in my case with this window for this to even work at all but this just will show you that you can work in any situation with this type of heater so now I'm going to form the feet for this and I'm going to use the original cardboard leftover tabs that I cut off the box now you can sort of see I don't know the sun shining brightly you can see I have one leg up here now now what I'm doing is cutting a piece of cardboard this is the leftover flaps from the lid of the box now I'm going to fold it in thirds roughly and right down the center basically you make a cut open it up and finish that cut down to just an inch from the bottom you just want to have an airflow on the bottom of this to allow cold air to enter your window heater and simply peel that down rip it off Peel it down, rip it off. Now you fold it. And simply lift this up and put this underneath your heater. Now if I had, I'm going to make a third one. And this will stand up nicely now. And I should start getting heat when the sun shines. Now it's hard for the camera to focus on this well because the sun is shining. But now I have hot air rising through the top here. I have a reflective barrier to reflect the heat back into the camper. And the cold air will enter down underneath through here be heated by the black painted side of the foil and the hot air will flow out up through here and this is a very simple cardboard and aluminum foil passive solar window heater this cost me maybe a dollar to a dollar fifty in materials not bad for free heat Now in the morning I moved my passive solar window heater over to my long window 
which is right behind my sofa. And I intentionally chose a box that fits most of the window but leaves a gap for me to look out and the cat likes to sit there and get some sun. And I, because this window is sloped inwards, I had to take another piece of cardboard to use as a spacer. Remember I made the feet on the bottom and I have a piece on the top as a spacer and there's actually a nice amount of heat coming up through here right now you can feel it so it's working well